All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponent in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Edwards gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 
Edwards gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? He's got it. Oh, countering it looks like with a Von Flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and your winner tonight, by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the law, remember the name, Muhammad. Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He leaves.